I'm Christian Karasevich, and on this DIY design tutorial from Easel, I'm going to show you how to create a professional high quality countdown timer in Ecamm Live using Easel. Now, before we begin, be sure you click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get notified every time we publish a new video on the channel. Let's get started. So what is the purpose of a countdown timer? Well, I personally like to compare it to a notification for an upcoming meeting. For example, when you set a new meeting with someone, you can have an alert go out to them 5, 10, 15, 30 minutes before that meeting to kind of nudge them along. Now, putting that in the context of live video, sometimes people need that extra nudge to join you on Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, Live, and more. Now, in this case, this is where the countdown timer comes in. So essentially what you're doing is you're starting your broadcast maybe 15 minutes before it's actually scheduled to start. Now, what this means is I basically go live on the platform. And while that is live, people are going to see the countdown timer. Now, when the clock hits, for example, 11 o'clock, I can now switch to my screen and welcome everyone to the live stream. So this is how you go about creating a countdown timer in the Ecamm Live platform. So the first thing you want to do is open the overlays panel. If you don't see that, simply go to window, go to overlays, and turn that on. Next, click on the time here at the bottom. Now we can go about choosing just a couple of elements. We can, for example, make the font yeah, something like this. We can adjust the typeface, the size. We can apply a shadow effect and adjust the background color. We can either pick our own or we can turn it off. So let's go with purple. So that's what our countdown timer would look like. Now, how do we go about making this look much more professional, much more high quality? That's actually very easy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch over to the easel workspace. So here I am, I'm within the easel workspace and I simply want to start by going to the create design button. Here, I want to scroll down to search and I'm going to put in live show overlay. Now at the bottom, you're going to notice there are quite a few overlay themes that are available to you. You can either use one of these or you can create a complete design from scratch. For the sake of this tutorial, we're going to work with the purple pink gradient. So here I am, this is the design that we're going to use for our countdown timer in Ecamm Live. Now, as you can see, there are quite a few other types of overlays. We have an intro, we have a countdown timer, we have a lower third, we have a session title, we have two and three screens, as well as a thanks for joining us screen. We're only going to focus on the countdown timer for this tutorial. So the first thing we wanna do is we want to make sure we edit our text. I'm just gonna simply double click on the text that I want to edit, make my edits. And then if I decide I want to change the background, I can go about doing that as well. In this case, Let's see what they look like. So I'm going to now go over to the images panel and I'm gonna search for a geometric pattern. And there are quite a few here. One thing to keep in mind though, is you are going to be having a countdown timer in your design. So we wanna make sure we don't pick something that's too busy. For example, let's see what this black one looks like. I'm gonna drag that in and it looks okay. It looks probably a little bit too busy and distracting for this type of design. So I can undo this by hitting Command-Z on a Mac or Control-Z on a PC. So let's see if there's something else here. Let's see what this one looks like. Definitely too busy. I think we're going to stick with the one we have. So now that we have this design ready, we don't actually have to export all of the various pages from Easel. What we're going to do is click the download button, select JPEG, 
then go to the pages option and we're only going to click on page two because that's the only one that we need within Ecamm. So once this is downloaded, we're going to bring this into Ecamm Live. So let's switch back over to Ecamm Live and show you how we go about working with this particular design. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the countdown timer that we had created earlier. Now that we have our design made, we're simply going to go to the overlays panel, click on the new image overlay, and we're going to select this particular design. So while this looks good, the only problem here is that the countdown timer is not visible. So what you need to do within the overlays panel is simply drag the countdown timer above the live show overlay, and you now have a countdown timer in Ecamm Live. Now, one thing we want to do here, though, is we want to make sure we make some adjustments. For example, maybe we don't like the font that's here. So we're going to double click and we're going to switch to the family. And let's go with, I think, Open Sans. And let's say you decide you want to make your countdown timer 15 minutes. And let's see how this looks with the purple background. So there's what the purple background looks like. We can double click to remove that background. So that's the option without the background. So I think I like the purple one. So we're going to add that back. We're going to hit save. And then we're going to make sure we drag this in place and use these automatic bounding boxes. So in this case, it's showing me my alignment. And I think that looks pretty good. Okay. So now that we're finished with this design, all we have to do is start our Ecamm live stream to Facebook, Twitch, YouTube Live, and more. And what's going to happen is people who go to, say, your Facebook Live, they're going to see the countdown timer. Now, one thing we want to make sure we do before we wrap things up is when we are going live, we want to make sure within the Ecamm platform that we pay attention to this sound levels panel. And if you don't see that, by the way, again, go to window, go to sound levels. So the sound levels panel, one thing that is important here is this top audio meter. So I'm speaking right now. And as you can see, the audio meter is going up and going down. So what we want to do here is if we start a countdown timer 15 minutes beforehand, if we leave this unmuted, people will hear all the noise. They'll hear us working on our keyboard. Maybe we're playing some music. Maybe we're having a conversation. So we want to make sure we mute that beforehand. Now, once we are ready to actually start that live stream, all we have to do is switch to our scene within Ecamm Live. And there you go. I can now be live on whichever social media platform I have chosen. So as you can see, it's very easy to create high quality professional countdown timers for Ecamm Live using Easel. If you have any additional questions, please leave those in the comments below and be sure you click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get notified the next time we publish a new video on the channel. Thanks a lot for watching.